Hello again, fellow friends, and welcome back to this, a challenge series with your boy Harple Up. So as you may know, Skyrim is my favorite game. I might have mentioned it a couple of times, and I'm always on the lookout for new ways to play it and new ways to experience it. And guess what? I found it. Using a 1 HP mod on the PS4 version of Skyrim. I've never played Skyrim with 1 HP before. I have no idea what's going to happen. I have no idea how much of it's going to be viable. It's going to be a new adventure. So come join me on that adventure, won't you? This is, uh... <laughs> Say hello to Teal Pig! <laughs> That's his name. So, what I'm gonna be doing is, I'm gonna be doing Conjuration. Cause I'm gonna need to summon some fight for me. I'm gonna do Illusion. Cause I'm gonna need to go calm when there's a really strong enemy coming my way. Sneak, yes. I'm gonna need sneak. Archery, yes. Smithing, maybe? Cause I might need to like make some awesome weapons and stuff. Enchanting, probably yes, you know, to enchant some clothes and whatnot to get some good stuff, like stuff that makes my weapon stronger, I guess. At first I said no to restoration, because why would I need to heal myself if I've got one HP? But there's the wards. Lesser ward and steadfast ward and all that stuff, and they just completely negate dragon breath. And that might be a little bit useful when I'm trying to survive against dragons. I'm not going to do destruction because I don't need it because I've got archery. So yeah. And plus, I'll be doing wards and conjuration and illusion. And they all take up a lot of magic, so I don't need destruction. So that's basically my plan. So we've got a character and we've got a plan. What we need to do now is head to Riverwood via Embershard Mine, as is the standard routine when you make a new Skyrim character. And on the way, I stumbled across these three folks. It turns out they're just a traveling merchant and a couple of bodyguards, which is great news for me. Yeah, I did miss the path to, uh, to Embershard Mine. It's up here. Right, Rayloff's not gonna come with me because he's just off to Riverwood. So here we go. My first enemy. Where are you? There you are. Look at him. He sees me. He's got his weapon out. All right. Well, oh, I am. I thought I wouldn't be able to sneak because he's already spotted me. Yeah, that's right. Okay, right. You'll die in two shots, right? Uh-oh. Help. <laughs> Run away. <laughs> Save me, Rayloff. Yes, look, they're fighting him. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you for helping me. After that near fatal encounter with one bandit, I decided it's probably best if I go to Riverwood first. So I went to Riverwood and I sold all the Stalrim armor I stole from the Stormcloaks because, you know, I have a mod on that changes the armor that the guards are wearing. And it turns out they're wearing Stalrim armor now, which is super expensive, which means I can sell it for a lot of monies. This allowed me to buy the novice robes of restoration, which Lucan doesn't normally have. But again, mods, you know. <laughs> So I sold the Starum armor. I bought the Novice Robes of Illusion. I leveled up and chose the Novice Restoration perk. I went and got Sven as my companion, and now we are ready to enter the first real dungeon of Skyrim, Embershard Mine. What could go wrong? Stealth attack. Didn't do much damage though. Oh, what was that? Sven. Oh, he's using the bow and arrow. This might end badly. Hey, Sven, why aren't you attacking him? Oh good, he's gone for Sven. Nice. Okay. Whoa, all right, Sven. Jesus Christ, he's dead. He's already dead. Missed him. What the fuck? Okay. Uh-oh. Sven, save me. <laughs> oh, no. I can't see. Okay. I'm missing with all my shots. Stop moving. Oh, my God. What's going on here? It's so different. Oh, stop moving. Uh-oh. Shit, he was coming for me then. It's so different compared to the Switch version, because on, like, on the Switch version, the controls are a bit jank. Can I see him from here? Oh, he's right there. Nice. Okay, you can't shoot through that gate. <laughs> Look, he's, he's come in, and he's not even a Khajiit this time. I think he knows I'm here. Go on, Sven. Kill him. Kill him, Sven. Kill him. Whoa, run away. Run away. <laughs> I'm dead. Wait, no. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Hunter, how goes it, son? How goes it? Oh, man. Okay, that was suboptimal. Let's try that again. Shoot him right in the hip. Come on, dudes. Come on, my dudes. Right, that's one. Sven, he's right there. I it, it scares me when uh, when Sven goes, oh, there's a guy coming. Anyway, so uh, what are you doing tonight? I'm like, oh, there's a guy coming. 
the daytime stages in Sonic Unleashed are probably peak Sonic. There you go, stop there so I can do this. Right, capped. Okay. Now the, the smith is going to come up there. Or, no, there's two ways up, isn't there? You could come up the right side or the left side. The left side. Hello, smith. Ah, missed. I didn't think he was going to go left. No. No. I, I couldn't. I couldn't back up. One. Two. Right, now I back up. Back way the fuck up. Get ready for this dude. Sven, mate. Sven. For real. You've got to be ready for this, mate. There he is. Sven, mate. You've got to be ready. Wake up. Oh, shit. Yes. He's going for Sven. Excellent. That's why I have Sven. <laughs> Wait. Level up. Wait. Oh, there he is. He's right fucking there. Bosh. And another one. Bosh. Yeah, look at that. Cat. We did it. Da -da 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 -da. We did the first uh, dungeon. So now with that first momentous achievement behind us, we look forward to the future, and the future is Bleak Falls Barrow. But first, I had to outfit Sven in some iron armor, because even when he does actually pay attention to the enemies, his clothes might not provide much protection. And while I was fully distracted by an extremely interesting facial hair question from the chat, this happened. When it grows over my lips, it really starts to come my mouth. Start getting hairs in your mouth and stuff, and gets in- Wolf! Oh no, I thought- well, that's another death. God bless third-person views. Right. Hey, Wolf, where are you going? Oh, I thought I missed it then. <clears throat> There's normally... Oh, I see it. Now he's there. Now I can see it. He's right there. There's three people here. There's that one. Nope, missed him. Missed him again somehow. Is he crouched? I don't know what's going on. Stop dodging my attacks. Am I just not aiming high enough? How are these missing? Oh my god, stop stop walking for another one. Finally! Okay, I got one. Alright. I guess maybe they were just too far away and I wasn't aiming high enough. That went that went just to the side of her. I didn't even aim there. Sven, do do some fight. Oh my god, I'm missing all of my arrows. What, what the? Nice, Sven. Oh shit, that person's using a bow and arrow. Shit, son. Run! Cat. Alright, but there's one more. There's someone in heavy armor in that, in that building. I know you're in here. Yep, see, there you are. Cat! Right, run away. I mean, bravely reposition myself. Go on, Sven. Go on. Kill it. Yes, I forget. <laughs> with all the enemies outside dealt with, I made a pact with Sven so that we'll never mention my atrocious archery aiming again. And we entered Bleak Falls Barrow, where nothing troublesome happened, really. It was just a nice, uneventful journey through Bleak Falls Barrow. Ah, yes. Now this guy, I'm just going to let the trap kill him, because this guy actually has a bit of uh, health. This guy can be kind of tricky. Normally I kill him, but I'm going to let him kill himself. Why not? Like an idiot. <clears throat> it's misleading, right? Because there's... Oh my god, I've just realized all all the traps and stuff in dungeons that I normally just let hit me because they do fuck all damage. They're actually all going to kill me now. <laughs> I might act, for the first time ever, I might have a reason to buy the perk that means you don't trigger pressure plates. Okay, I'm just going to see if I can get their attention. I say they're here. Sven, kill him. Kill him for me. Sven, what are you doing? Come in, you idiot. I come in! Run! <laughs> the skeevers! They're gonna kill me if they touch me. Go on, Sven, do your job. I'll do it then, Sven, don't worry. 
Where's that? Where's that other one? I'm carefully looking at the compass at the top to see when, see where the enemy is at. There he is. Cat. It's alright, Sven. I'll I'll kill him. Okay, so what I haven't actually told you yet is that Sven's using a Dunma dagger, which is obviously not in the game as standard. It came as part of a mod. And the Dunma Dagger is a little bit powerful for these early levels. So I've got Paralysis Poison on my arrows. Sven, you've got to do some work here, mate. Right, now it's, it's paralyzed, but only for a second. Come on! Run! Because that thing can shoot poison at me and I don't want it to. No, it can't. It... Sven, you absolute badass. Maybe it was the Dunma Dagger. Maybe it was the Iron Armor. Maybe it was some random mod from the many mods I've got installed, but all of a sudden, something lit a fire underneath Sven's ass, and he decided to become a champion. What the? What? Oh, there's one in here I didn't kill. Uh-oh. Kill it, Sven! Oh, Sven, you hero! Look, it didn't set up the pressure plate. Sven? Save me, Sven! Yes, all right, and the next one. It's got a bow and arrow, I'm scared. Nice. Oh no. You know what that sound is, don't you? Yeah, that's what that noise is. Hmm, okay. Yes! Made it! I am the best! Sven! Sven! Come back! Where did you go? <laughs> we lost Sven! Where did Sven go? He got, he got banished to the realms of oblivion. Maybe if I wait, he'll come back. I hear footsteps. He's back, baby. Oh my god, I've never been so happy to see Sven. <laughs> okay, Sven, you're gonna have to do some work, mate. Thank you. <laughs> okay. I like it. Hey! Right. Now turn it off. Okay, don't don't get pushed into into another dimension this time, Sven. Alright, where is that? There he is. Come and get me. Oh, he dodged it. Sven, turn around, you idiot. Sven! Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> Cheers, Sven. There we go. Hey. Wait, is Fusmo Dar gonna do damage to me? It is! Dead. <laughs> okay. Hmm, okay. I see where this is going. I'm gonna use a scroll. Why not? Scroll of fireball, let's go. Uh hup. and uh hup. run for your life! So he doesn't push my dami. Okay. Has Sven killed it? Yes, you let you killed it. My fireballs and Sven's done my dagger did the deed. With Bleak Fool's Barrow done and dusted, I gave the Golden Claw back to Lucan, but the thing is I like the Golden Claw, so I stole it back off him, and I know this is going to result in him sending thugs my way, but I've got Sven, and he's the ultimate thug, so I'm going to win. Naturally, my next stop is going to be Whiterun, but on the way I noticed a weird portal thing. What the fuck is that? again from one of my mods. Turns out it takes me to a magical realm called Manantis, and not really much happened there, but I did speak to a guy called Albus Rumblerow. <laughs> ah! Get it? And I was able to buy a couple of spells off him. I bought Summon Spriggan, because I thought Spriggan could be handy, you know, they can summon bears and stuff, can't they? Not sure if this spell lets them summon bears, but who knows? And I bought an illusion channeling spell, which does damage to people. So it's kind of like having a destruction spell in the illusion school, since I'm not going to be doing destruction. I figured it would be nice and handy. And then I left, because there's, like I say, there's nothing else really to see there. 
So anyway, after all of that rubbish, I went to fight the first dragon in the game at the Western Watchtower. This is it. This is what Skyrim is all about. Me and a bunch of other people this time, but maybe not always, fighting a dragon one-on-one -on -one if you don't include all the other people that are helping me. Uh, so I guess the smart play for me would just be to like not really attack the dragon at all and just use my lesser ward. I don't know if I should get my bow and arrow out and start attacking it. Because I need to just be ready with this. Is it landing? I think eventually it's going to run out of guards to kill and it's just going to come up for me. Well, I died. <laughs> oh god. Oh dear. No, no, no. I'm doing damage to it, but not much. Not much. You know what? It's taking too long for me to get my magic back. Because that's an apprentice spell and it's, it's costing so much magic. Whoa, some of the fire came in and it kind of scared me. Where are you, dragon? Have you landed? Sand. Take that. Take this! Yeah, get cat. Boom tank! Dragon's dead. Hey! And it only killed me the once. Amidst all the celebrations, I noticed something was amiss. Very amiss. Where is uh, Sven? You understand, you ain't a norm. That was Would you just Did Sven get killed by the dragon? Because I wasn't there to draw its fire. For real, I, th I think Sven might have died. Which is a bit of a problem, because I'm now carrying too much to be able to run. Right, enough of this nighttime malarkey. I say Sven. Looks really good. Wait, who's that? It's not Sven, is it? <gasps> Sven! He's back! Oh my god, that's twice now, so far tonight. I thought Sven was gone. I thought he was a I thought he was a goner. Oh my god. Well, now I can give you some stuff right to carry. Behind. What do you want me to carry? Sven. Who said you could hide me? Don't do that to me. With the dragon defeated and Sven returned, it was time for me to go back to Whiterun to sell all the bones and scales and things over to Bellathor. Now, I tried to do the trick where you sell stuff to the shopkeeper until they run out of money and then you kill them and then reload it so they restock all their money, but this happened. All right, quick save. Ha! No! I'm dead. <laughs> oh shit. So anyway, I was able to successfully kill Bellathor and then reload it so he could respawn and get his money back so I could sell him more stuff. And I spoke to the Jarl, he made me Thane, he gave me the Axe of White Run, I told Lydia to fuck off, and then I began my journey up to High Hrothgar to speak to the Greybeards. Daflip sounds like some kind of street talk for throwing an errant finger up. Yeah, you flip at a bird. There's a wolf! A wolf! Dead. Oh, I thought I was- I thought I was dead. Oh, I thought I was dead. Okay. By this point in the adventure, we'd killed a dragon, I've got a Spriggan as a partner, and I've got Sven as a partner. I was feeling brave, so I thought I'd check out White River Watch and kill everyone that's in there. Hey, yep, there's a dude right there, boys. Capped! Spriggan, what are you doing? Ah. Not doing much. All right, that bandit's coming, and he's coming real good. Or she is. Help! Help! <laughs> Don't! I'm dead. Oh god. <laughs> she had three targets to aim at. Three. And she chose Ma. <clears throat> right. Let's do it again. All right. So one. Oh, you're. Are you coming all the way down here this time? Two? I said two. Oh, oh. 
Oh, it's coming. Oh my god! <laughs> she came round the corner already already with a fucking bow and arrow cock. She was like, boom, dead. After being killed by this one particular bandit twice, my cockiness had been brought down a peg or two, and I decided to just take it slow, take it easy, and fuck them all up properly. This is why... Moments like that are why I'm gonna end up needing... Oh shit, I just hit Sven. Are why I'm gonna end up needing illusion spells. Yeah, take that. Take that! Okay, right, okay. Run for your life! <laughs> That's what I've learned. Yeah, she's dead. Quick save it. <laughs> oh, no. Alright, this one. Don't don't initiate combat. Nice. No, Sven, not you. Crouch. Uh-oh. See how fast some of these people are moving, man. It's terrifying. Get out of my way! Actually, no, don't. Stay in my way. You're what's keeping me alive. <laughs> right, you there. Right. I'll do one stealth hit with this. After I've saved it. Uh, and then change to this and start doing magic. Oh, he's got a bow and arrow. Uh-oh, uh-oh. He's got a bow and arrow. Don't like it. He's dead. And the Spriggan's back, baby. Spriggan got capped when it healed itself. Right, Grey Winter Watch. If I'm not mistaken, there's two trolls in here. Yeah, the cockiness came back. And there's not much room to move. No, for real, where are you, though? <gasps> there. Uh oh, that's not doing much at all. Okay, darkness isn't very good against trolls. Uh oh. Go on, Sven, destroy it. Seriously, Sven. Alright, yeah, he's got that one. Run! Oh no, okay. No, not that. Where is it? Summon Spriggan. <laughs> run away from the trolls. Luckily, they have no ranged attacks, so they can't zone me out. Uh, did that troll kill Sven? Where's the one that's weak? Oh, they're getting their health back, aren't they? Sons of bitches. I need to attack the green one, because he's the weak one. Oh, this isn't gonna end well. Uh oh. Sven, where are you? Okay, he's not dead. I went through the loading screen. I didn't mean to. There is not. Yes, Stav. I I know fire caps trolls, but I don't have any fire, do I? Otherwise, I would have used it. Right. Sven, I need you to save my life here. Uh oh, run! Run, double run! Ah, Sven just got capped. Hello, troll. Come here. Come on, Sven, hit it! It's right next to me! Oh, run! Sven, you gotta hit that thing. I don't like this! It's so tight quarters. Close quarters. Oh, it's gone sideways now. Wow, it's getting its health back so fast. There's a skull there. I don't want to... Sven, just attack it. You've got a Dunma sword. A Dunma... Oh, no. We can't win this fight. <clears throat> Stab said, Rookie, you start with flames. Yeah, I do. I forgot about that. I just wasn't doing destruction. You're right. I do start with flames. It's right there. Oh, dear. Okay. That wasn't a sneak attack. That's 
fire. Ooh, the lips not here. Flames. I hope I don't kill Sven. Can't move. Where is it? It's right there. Okay, that's one down. Healing, you crazy troll. Come on! Yeah, there we go. See, every time Sven hit it, he did some serious damage. I just needed him to actually hit it. And it wasn't him saying cat. We did it! <laughs> I can't believe I, f I forgot I had... It didn't even cross my mind that I would have flames. With the trolls defeated and my cockiness at an all-time high, I decided to stop off at Valfheim Towers along the way to Iverstead. I know that the combat is open, there's not much in the way of hiding spaces, and I know they have a lot of archers, and I know the bandit chief there is pretty tough. But I just killed two trolls. So fuck them. Ooh, look at that. That's handy, because I'm just about to go and attack some bandits. So it's handy to have some guards with me. So hey, uh, do you guys get to the Cloud District very often? Who, me? What's happening? A wolf, a fox. It wasn't even a wolf, it was a fox. Okay, well, that, it's good to know that these guards are competent at putting down things that are coming to attack them. Yeah. It's go time, ladies and gentlemen. We just gotta watch out for archers up on the bridge. That guard won't stop getting in the way. Wow, he shield bashed her to death. Look at that guy up there. And cat. Got him. Nice. Uh, how did that one miss? Alright, who else? Someone up there? Where's the bandit chief, though? Do I have to unlock the door? Let him in. No, the door is unlocked. Uh, look. All right. Anytime, anytime you guys want to attack. Oh, here we go. Here we go. There's an archer. I think there's an archer over there somewhere. Yeah, there he is. Bandit die. Yeah, got him. And again. Oh, look at that. Boom thing. I guess the bandit chief's dead. Nice. Is he look, he's just he's just taking up residence. He's like, I live here now. <laughs> And so concludes chapter one of me playing through Skyrim when I've only got one HP. I died eight times, but we got a lot achieved. I killed a dragon, we helped some guards reclaim a tower, went to a mystical realm where I met Albus Rumble Raw Ha, and bought some spells and, you know, all sorts of things, all sorts of magical mysteries and, and adventures. Imagine what we'll get up to next time. Next time we'll get to Iverstead and see the Greybeards and embark on our journey as the Dragonborn. But until then, I'm gonna say thank you for watching, thank you for liking and sharing if you do those sorts of things. It greatly helps the channel out. And I'm gonna say peace. And those, those bandits at Valheim Towers didn't stand a chance, Grease.